Stuart, I'd like to begin with you. And let's start by separating science fiction from reality and understand where artificial intelligence stands today. How advanced is it exactly? Everything comes down to what you talk about by artificial intelligence. Are we talking humanoid artificial intelligence? Or are we talking machine learning? And even at the machine learning stage, we're still at pretty early days. You know, there's a couple of functions that uh, artificial intelligence has to, to do to, to truly start to mimic uh, what we as humans can do. Can we label or can we create an image based on uh, a description? Uh, computers are starting to be able to do that. Where we're seeing, <clears throat> especially outside of uh, espionage circles and so on, uh, artificial intelligence really coming into play is the way that programs have been designed to crunch big data. And in doing so, they're starting to create models of you and I uh, about what we do, where we're going, uh, what we might do next, and then how are we going to then use that information and put it in front, in front of you uh, the next time you click onto some social media site or go to a news site and so on. And, and, and the big concern from uh, my perspective and those people that I've talked to about this issue is What's the motivation behind the programming that was designed to be able to uh, take that information and then is it going to be used in a benevolent way or malevolent way? And, th right. and these are the questions that have to be asked. What's the purpose? What's the motivation?